And there's Jordan Poole. And it's Koulibaly in at the two guard. Poole, no good. And here are the Grizzlies now. Here's Moran. And the layup's good off the glass. Moran's got the first basket here in overtime for the Grizzlies. Moran using that quickness to his advantage. That time he gets that one to fall. Poole kicks to Kuzma. No good from outside. Memphis leading. And here's Morant. Got him with the pump fake, but couldn't finish. Bagley with the ball. Guarded now by Jackson. Pass to Koulibaly. Here's Avgia. with no one around. Off target from outside. And for Memphis, they're shooting 53% from the floor. They're locked in. Payne finds Morant. And he elevates for the slam dunk, and Marvin Bagley did not like that. Oh, and he got fancy with that one. Yeah, maybe trying to give them the momentum boost they need to break this game open. And again, Washington, no good. Well, you make strides to get back in the ball game, but an errant shot like that can definitely cost you any kind of momentum. You have to use better judgment there. Offensive rebound. Back to Poole. Kuzma outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Goes back up. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Rashawn Holmes is checked in for the Wizards. Tyus Jones comes in for Poole. Here's Morant. On defense, the Wizards. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. Hey guys, this is where their depth really comes into play. They, they've got such talent at that position. They'd love to have him out there, but they won't suffer much of a drop-off. Job well done at the line on that possession. They'll make things a little easier on themselves if they can convert those. The Bagley takes a three. It falls! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. Love watching Bagley getting confident in big possessions. Washington's got nothing going from three-point land yet in this overtime. They've gone, guys, just one of six from long range. Now, here's Bagley. Back to Jones. Here's Kuzma. Can't tie it up as that one misses. And so it's Memphis with it. We can probably expect to see him slow it down now. Yeah, I think you want to milk your possessions. Here's Morant. And Jones pulls it down. Let's hope for his sake that he does not try that one ever again. Abdiya can't hit. It's stolen by Jones. To tie it up. Bulls on. And oh, that was an enormous three-pointer. Shamit having a night. And so the timeout by Taylor Jenkins here. Morant. Oh, and he had a chance to win it right there, but couldn't get it to fall. And so we are tied again. And as we play on into another overtime, you know these teams must be wearing down. It's become a battle of attrition. Here you go. Now Jones to take the lead and he nails that one right through the net Jones has got his first two points the train it's rebounded by Memphis Bain's got six rebounds now in the game 
outside, Smart. Here's Morant. The Grizzlies with another miss. Darren Jackson Jr. Second personal foul. Wizards leading by three. Back to Bagley. This is the Jones. Stolen by Jackson. And it's Memphis on the break. Here's Morant. And finished off by Morant. You love the energy and effort Morant provides, especially when he's on the break. Here's Kuzma. Trains the three-pointer. And the Wizards lead by four. And Kuz on the cruise with that bucket. To the paint. Here's Jackson. The bucket is good. He'll have a chance for one more. Arvin Bagley picks one up. And that's a player with no fear. Jackson steps to the forefront, goes out and gets them a massive bucket. A terrific end one on that one. Those are the kind of plays, guys, that win basketball games. Now, here's Bagley. Outside, Jones. Shot clock at six. Kuzma outside. Wow, came this close to a four-point. The coach's challenge has been issued. Post game like this, out of the wire, this is what it's for. And this is the time now where the officials can review in closer detail what constituted the original. A lot easier to determine. Indeed, and the one thing with replay review is that when you see the slow motion replays, you the rule number four stands. And, and how hard it can be sometimes, you know, break to, to make the right call. And so the word is in, they decided that the call stands as it was made on the floor. And you know, even if a coach still feels this wasn't the right call, you gotta acknowledge the effort being put in to review it. The double checking and the game continues on. And Kuzma, one of those forwards that can kind of go between, plays the four or the small forward. I mean, that's impressive versatility from this young player. And just like that, this game is a two possession affair. Now here's Morant. Right to the hoop. Oh, and he misses the dunk. Shamit on the wing. Up top, Kuzma. Aldama with the rebound. Aldama's got double digit rebounds now in the game. And going back to college, Morant made a habit of rising to the occasion. Here's Jones. The Grizzlies making the shot. Kuzma finds Jones. Back to Kuzma. Fires from deep. No good that time. It's stolen by Bigley. Right wing. Wizards passing it around. Bagley at 6-11. What an option there. Late. And Morant's got the ball here for the Memphis Grizzlies. The pass to Eldama. Back to Morant. Yet another bucket. And he's up to 52 points. Yeah, making a GA look all too easy right now. Gives the team such a great element having a one guard who can get to the 10. Uh, certainly something every team wants to have. I like to see that assertiveness, especially from the guy who's going to orchestrate your offense. One second separating the shot clock and game. from him. I mean, it's because of that that they're even in this game. Bagley inside the line. And so with overtime two in the books, the game is still not over. Overtime. And as we play into another overtime, the tension continues to build. Both teams refusing to quit.
Now, here's Poole. Outside, Begley. Pass to Poole. Outside, Begley. Out to Kuzma. Passes it to Poole. Cranes it from beyond the arc. And the Wizards lead by three. And Poole is such a tough and dynamic three-point shooter. He's comfortable firing from anywhere. Runs. And he elevates for the slam dunk, and Marvin Bagley did not like that. Now that's incredible. A huge bucket in the most emphatic way possible. Now that is not supposed to happen. Outside for Bagley. From past the arc. And again, Washington with the triple. And Poole's vision developing right in front of us. Jackson with the screen. Here's Moran. There's the dish to Jackson. And it's out of bounds. The Wizards will take it the other way. Well, unfortunately, just poor execution there. You cannot give the ball away at this point in the game. Wizards leading by four. Outside, Begley. A three-pointer, no good. Well, that's not a shot he's ever going to pass up, and he shouldn't. Despite the miss, no defender anywhere near him. He's got to shoot that. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. So we'll see Jaron Jackson go to the line here. Jordan Poole picks one up, and that one misses. At the strike, Jackson, more than capable. But can he do it when it matters most? Really, uh, the right play defensively, if you can't block, force him to the line. And that hurts as he doesn't get the first one to fall. Trying to focus now on the second. And the second of two is good. That makes it a three-point lead. The Grizzlies shooting 56% in this game, really stringing quality possessions together offensively. Here's Moran. Back to Jackson. It's not going to go for him. Kuzma with the defensive effort. Diversified scoring in this one for him. I love when everyone can get involved. A full team effort. Shamit finds Kuzma. The three. Grizzlies with the rebound. And you get the sense that he's hit a wall here in OT. He just hasn't been much help to them at all. Those interior passes can be dangerous sometimes, but if the timing is good and you execute it there, you can get easy hoops. Out the up. The kick out to Poole. Kuzma with a screen on Morant. Kuzma outside. Six on the shot clock. Avia with it. Aljama with the rebound. It's another just bad decision on a night full of those. The shot selection tonight has been questionable at best. Now here's Morant. Guarded close. Here he goes. Here's Jackson. Yes! And the flush from Jackson Jr. Great wingspan and at 6'11". He's got a little nasty in Pool and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. You had a foul to give there, but you'd rather not have it cost your team points. And so he's good on both free throws, and that gives them the lead. Well, crucial moment there at the free throw line, and he never flinched. Here's Morant. Pass to Eldama. Morant outside. Oh, the all or nothing shot. No good. And so it's Washington who straight by with the win. A double overtime game can really take its toll on the players. And after this one, the officials, the fans, everyone's going to have to take a, uh, a needed rest. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, when you have to dig that deep and play.